Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. With the recent decentralization of the former Korean National Police Agency, Kyungi Province established two autonomous police committees to oversee police affairs in its northern and southern jurisdictions. District police commissioners will report to these committees, which will undertake personnel management, budget and policy review, and the administrative coordination of district police agencies in the province. With this decentralization initiative, the police and local residents are achieving greater solidarity. On July 1st, a four-day exhibition of more than 50 images of daily life and the democratic movement in Myanmar concluded at the Kyungi Arts Center. This exhibition, titled Longing for Spring in Myanmar, had been organized to publicize the current status of the democratic movement in Myanmar and to contribute to the international drive for peace in that nation. In line with this exhibition, the Kyungi Arts Center will continue to pursue a diverse range of related activities. In cooperation with K. Petro, the Kyungi Province Special Judicial Police recently apprehended 10 fraudulent petroleum dealers. A total of 3.5 million liters of fraudulent petroleum products valued at 4.6 billion Korean won was sold by these individuals. The undocumented transactions enabled tax evasion totaling 540 million Korean won. The judicial police will send these individuals to prosecution and also report their findings to the National Tax Service for the recovery of unpaid taxes. A sculpture symbolizing basic income paid in local currency was recently unveiled inside the main gate of the Kyungi Provincial Government Complex. This sculpture depicts a card reader and a superhero using a Kyungi local currency card to make payment while surrounded by applauding small business owners, conveying the concept of basic income paid in local currency in an easy and entertaining fashion. On June 30th, the Hambeck Mountain Memorial Park, the first of its kind in Korea, opened as a joint undertaking of six cities in Kyungi Province. Hwasung, Bucheon, Ansan, Anyang, Shihung, and Gwangmyeon. Costing a total of 170 billion Korean won, this park was developed as a comprehensive funeral complex, complete with a crematorium, indoor and outdoor funeral venues, and interment facilities. Profits and benefits derived from the operation of the park will be distributed evenly among the participating cities, as well as to local residents. Kyungi Province will launch its Delivery Worker Safety Education Project so as to address safety issues arising from the increase in digital platform-related labor and changes in the working environment. Serving 4,000 delivery and related workers in the province, this project will encompass education courses and content development. The education content will include situational contingencies, accident prevention, vehicle maintenance, related labor laws, and instructional skills with the objective of delivering practical knowledge through customized courses. For the first time among the autonomous bodies of Korea, Kyungi Province will pursue the reduction of indirect costs stemming from prolonged public construction work. The primary focus will be on ensuring work schedule observance and budget efficiency. The province plans to make it mandatory for all public construction projects to commence only after land compensation procedures, including settlement payments and consent acquisition, have been completed. The province also plans to ensure that construction budgets are planned and implemented in accordance with financial availability through the strict control of new construction order issuance and careful deliberation of funding plans. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.